simple mode versus standard mode. There are two modes a user account can operate in with respect to the virtual file system. The two modes are simple and standard mode. When a user account uses simple directory mode, the administrator can only assign one directory to represent the virtual directory for that user. Instead of the directory being seen as a subdirectory off of the root, the virtual directory selected will be the directory the user is placed in when they log into the server. In other words, the directory selected as the virtual root directory will be the root directory. To put a user account in simple directory mode, simply select is simple directory checkbox for the user account. When the is simple directory option is unchecked, you're in standard mode. The administrator may attach as many directories to a user account as desired. The directory selected will appear as subdirectories off of the root directory when the designated user logs into the server. To add a virtual directory to a user account, first select the user in the server's users list, then click on Add Virtual Directory. Next, click on the Folder Selection button. Once you've clicked on the Folder button, a Browse for Folder dialog will appear. Navigate to the directory you wish to add and press the OK button on the dialog box. The directory you selected should appear in the edit box to the right of the folder button. Finally select add folder. This button will be labeled assigned as root in simple mode located to the right of the folder selection button. The directory should now appear in the virtual root directory list box. To configure the newly added directory, click on the directory name in the list box. The directory's permission option should now appear in the list box to the right of the directory list. Place a check beside any permission that you would like to grant to the virtual directory and all of the directory subdirectories. And there you have it, the virtual directory system. For more help and how-tos, please visit our website at www.serversftp.com. Thanks.